Hey there, and welcome to the White Coat Guide with me, Dr. Shanza. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes of one of the most intense and life-saving experiences in all of medicine open-heart surgery. If you've ever wondered what really happens when surgeons open up someone's chest and literally hold their heart in their hands, you're in the right place. So, let's start at the beginning. Open-heart surgery isn't just a cool name, it's exactly what it sounds like. Surgeons actually open the chest to work directly on the heart. We do this for a bunch of reasons, blocked arteries, faulty valves, or sometimes to fix problems people were born with. But what actually happens once a patient is rolled into the OR? Here's where the magic, and a lot of science, kicks in. First up is anesthesia. The patient gets powerful meds to make sure they're totally asleep, totally pain-free. A breathing tube goes in, and special machines take over their breathing so the surgical team can focus on the heart. Then, with absolute precision, the surgeon makes a careful incision right down the center of the chest. The breastbone is gently separated. Don't worry, this is done with incredible care, to give a clear view of the heart. It might sound scary, but every movement here is planned and practiced a thousand times. Now for the part that always blows people's minds, the heart-lung machine. The heart sometimes needs to be stopped during surgery. So, we hook the patient up to this machine, which takes over the job of pumping blood and adding oxygen. That means the body keeps getting everything it needs, even while the real heart is getting fixed. Depending on what's wrong, the surgeon might do a coronary artery bypass. That means taking a blood vessel from the leg or chest and creating a detour around a blocked artery, like building a new road when the old one's closed. Or maybe it's a valve that needs to be repaired or swapped out. Sometimes the problem is a heart defect that's been there since the person was born and this is the moment it finally gets fixed. Once the repairs are done, something amazing happens. The surgeon gradually lets blood flow back into the heart and, if all goes well, the heart starts beating on its own again. There's this quiet moment in the OR where everyone is waiting, and then, just like that, you hear the heartbeat come back. It's honestly one of the most moving moments in medicine. After that, the heart-lung machine is turned off, and the patient's own heart takes over again. The breastbone is wired shut, the incision is carefully stitched, and the patient heads to the intensive care unit for close monitoring. The first day after surgery is critical. Nurses and doctors keep a super close eye on everything. Recovery isn't instant. It can take weeks or even months. But for millions, open heart surgery is a second shot at life. It's a mix of science, skill, and a whole lot of hope. So the next time you hear about open heart surgery, remember, it's not just a procedure, it's a breathtaking dance of technology and teamwork that saves lives every single day. If you found this fascinating and want more clear, honest answers about the world of medicine, hit like, share, and subscribe right now. Stay curious, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time on the White Coat Guide.